Hi friends, this is Ganesh Nayak. I help finance professionals and students to excel in their career and become a better version of themselves. And I'm back with my capsule video. And today I'm going to be talking about an FAQ or basically a lot of questions that I get with respect to FRM exam. Okay, so one of the questions that I constantly get from students or candidate is that they want to go for the FRM exam, but they have not been into the mathematics stream or they have not taken mathematics as a main subject in their graduation or they have been away from mathematical calculation because of work or because of some other requirement okay and now they want to go for frm exam so the query that is there in their mind that will they be able to clear the exam or not now i want to address that query and i want to answer your question and i want to make three points three important points the first point is that the FRM curriculum is not mathematically heavy, okay, it is more statistical heavy. So when I'm saying statistical heavy, it primarily means that the concept of statistics has to be clear for you to clear the exam. Institute is also going to test you on your understanding of the uh, concepts of statistics, like for example, mean, mode, median, skewness, kurtosis, standard deviation and all of it. As a risk manager, you should be aware about that understanding. The reason being, when you go and work for a bank, okay, majority of the stuff is automated and the system is going to give you a lot of calculation already. You as a risk manager is supposed to understand that concept, okay, and apply it in your qualitative assessment or the uh, decision that you're going to be taking. That is the first point which I want to make. So do not be afraid. There is no high mathematics. There is no integration. There is no mathematical derivative over here. The primary book that we have, which focuses on that is quantitative analysis. It is more on statistics. The second point which I want to make to you is that when we look at the other two book, which is book three and book four, financial markets and products and valuation and risk models, there is some calculation involved into it. But in the exam, you will have a financial calculator. So those calculations can be easily done in the financial calculator. You don't have to do any calculation per se you you have a calculator which is going to help you to do that calculation okay only thing is that you need to understand how to use that calculator and if you solve three four questions it will be easy for you to understand the pattern and then the calculation will become easy so second point which i wanted to highlight is calculator is going to be there with you in the exam so do not be afraid okay majority of the formulas majority of the function is already inbuilt in that calculator the third point which I want to make to those students is that the exam pattern which I have seen in the last two exam, okay, the May and July 2021 exam, it is now becoming more theory. That means they are testing you on the understanding and not on your ability to solve questions fast. Okay, so if you look at this part, this behavior, okay, out of 100 in the past two exams, I've seen around 72, 75 or in some cases 80 questions coming directly for theory and the rest being from calculation or quant side even from your second book which is the statistical book okay from that book also we saw majority of the theory questions coming okay so the pattern of the exam which is gradually moving towards more theory more understanding is also good news for students who feel that they cannot uh, do mathematics okay so these three points you should remember and go for the exam register for the exam and make your career better enhance your career with the FRM certification. Thank you very much guys.